Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's a little cute podcast. It's not too long. Today, today we're coming at you, coming at you live from Corona, California. You know, before I was in, I was in San Diego. You know, I live in Orange County. Then I went down to San Diego. Now I'm in Corona. I'm in Corona, California, bro. That's the name of that Mexican beer. That Mexican beer was so good they named the city after it. You know, the next city over is called Coors Light. Coors Light Town, they suck, dude. Corona's a much better place to live, bro. Anyway, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm in Corona right now. You know, I'm at uh, my brother's house, you know. Uh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't tell people where my brother lives, huh? Uh, wait, hold on, let me think about it. Let me think about if anybody cares about where my brother lives. Nope. Wait, hold on, let me think about if anybody will care about the city in which my brother lives and then maybe in the future, ten years later, they'll listen to this episode of him and they'll be like, oh my god, that's where his brother lives. I'm gonna go there and murder him. Nope. Probably not, you know. So anyway, I, uh, stay in my brother's house. Uh, cause, uh, you know, I don't know. With my lady friend and, uh, it's more fun for us to hang out with my brother than to hang out with my mom, you know. Cause he likes, he likes drinking alcohol and, and, uh, and, uh, he likes, like, you know, cleaning and tidying up. Um, I've noticed recently my mom has this problem where she's, like, a hoarder. You know, she's on that, she's not not on that TV show Hoarders, but she could be if she wanted to. If she really tried, she could be on that TV show Hoarders. But, uh, she doesn't actually hoard any stuff. It's just, like, a bunch of paper. You know? Like, I think hoarders tend to, like, save, well, I guess they save whatever, you know. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess my mom is a hoarder, pretty much. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to help her clean up the house a little bit, you know, but it's just like, it's just like, it's like every day. It's like whenever she cleans up, she kind of just makes more of a mess. Like she started cleaning up these papers and then just kind of threw them all over the counter. I was like, what, what are you, what are you doing? You didn't, you make, you're, you're making more of a mess. What cleaning up? What's going Why is this happening? Why, how is this possible? You know? So anyway, yeah. Uh, Hanging out. We're gonna hang out with my brother this weekend. You know, I went down to I drove down to San Diego to pick up my lady friend. You know, we went over to the uh, La Jolla Cove over there. You know, saw the sea lions and the seals. You know, fucking lazy asses. They're just laying there, man. They're just laying on the beach. They're just laying on the beach, working on their tan, even though they don't have melanin. You know, in their skin, they just they're just lay, they're just like, oh man, ate a bunch of fish. What do you want to do today? I don't know. Let's go lay out on a beach and just fucking sleep all day. You know, that's pretty much. It's like the dream vacation for the seals and the sea lions out there. You know. After they're finished eating all the fish, it's just like, well, we don't got shit to do. Let's just go, let's just go lay on the beach, you know? You know, I think, you know, some people say, like, humans are the only, are the only species with, like, free time to, you know, create society. But I don't know, seals, seals kind of have a lot of free time, man. And they don't do shit. They just sit on their asses, you know? Eating that government cheese. Goddamn seals, taking my tax money. Goddamn sea lions. Oh, oh, you gotta increase my, you gotta increase the taxes on 1% because these goddamn sea lions won't get a job. Is that what you're telling me? Get out, why don't you stop, you know? Anyway, all these sea lions, they're all like, they're all like barking at each other, you know? They're like, oh, 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 you know, like that kind of noise. Uh, and, uh, you know, people were getting dangerously close to them, you know? Trying to take little pictures, you know? Put on Instagram, you know? Uh, I mean, I did that too, but I didn't, I didn't get dangerously close, you know? Anyway, there's no parking down there, man. There's no park, like, like, you know, they're, it's like they're building all these stuff. They're building all these nice buildings and nice shops and stuff, but they don't build any parking lots. It's like, oh, I'll figure it out later. Let's just build. We don't. No one needs to park, you know? It kind of just makes me wonder. It's like the whole, why don't we drive around these huge cars? It's like I'm, I'm driving around this car with like four seats and a trunk that I don't even use. It's like, how come society hasn't figured out how to make one one person vehicles yet, you know? For those times when you just want to drive around and you don't feel like, you know, taking 3,000 pounds of empty car with you, you know? Of course, they did have those, like, uh, they did have these covered, they're kind of like covered motorcycles, you know, like two wheels or three wheels that were, like, uh, they were being developed, like, ten years ago, and, uh, well, it turns out, because of regulations, you know, if you have a, even if you have an enclosed vehicle, if it has less than four wheels, you gotta wear a helmet, right, and I remember, like, five years ago, they finally, they finally got rid of that law in California, or they made an exception for one company, they didn't actually get rid of the law, they just made an exception for one company, and, uh, well, that's basically why we have all this traffic and there's no, you know, because if you go to like Asia, you know, everyone's just like driving around little motorcycles and stuff. And I guess that's dangerous. No one wants to do that. But, you know, we, they, they have enclosed three wheel vehicles. 
they're just well they can't sell them because everyone's gonna wear a helmet and no one wants to wear a goddamn helmet while they're driving you know fucking fucking bernie sanders man making me wear a helmet while i'm driving you know kind of made me uh, laugh too that that dumb uh that dumb mexican girl what's her name Oscio Ortez, I don't even know her name, fucking AOC, everyone calls her, AOC, dude, she's fucking AOC, dude, America on, on Canada, dude, America online, but it's like in Canada, bro, AOC, bro, I have dial-up, dude, she, uh, she released her Green New Deal, I don't know if you guys heard about this, basically, she's just like, she's like, I'm gonna give free sausages to everyone, everyone vote for me, I'll give you free ketchup with your fries, don't worry, you know, and people are like, how are you going to pay for that free ketchup? She's like, don't, we'll, play it. we'll pay for it with good vibes and prosperity, you know? Oh, uh, fuck. I don't get too political here, but I really fucking hate that. I, I just hate dumb people, I guess. I, you know, I fucking hate dumb people. I hate people that vote for dumb people. I hate dumb politicians that say dumb shit on TV that they know is dumb and they know they're fucking morons, but they just say it anyway because they know everyone else is dumb and they know that they can get money from the dumb people if they tell the dumb people what they want to hear. You know, anyway, that was a few minutes. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.